At ease, brothers. God is good. Meaning, meaning, I don't care what you're going through right now. I don't care what you're experiencing. I don't care how how hard times may be right now. If you have the ability to inhale and exhale at this moment, if you have the ability to to tap into the internet and pick up your phone or computer and, and watch a YouTube video, life is good. Because if you have the ability to do that, brothers, you have the ability to easily think and act your way out of your current situation. But that's a whole nother video, man. You know, I love getting up at, at zero dark 30 in the morning, man. It's like, it's like the bandwidth is so clear. You know what I'm saying? It's like when everybody else is still sleeping, when the world is, is kind of, you know, standing still, my thoughts are different. My, my, my meditation is, is, is so much clearer, you know? And I love every once in a while, man, getting up at this time when the world is doing that thing and, and making content, brother. So about a little bit over a year and a half ago, maybe almost two years ago, man, I got a DM from a sister. And no, this sister wasn't trying to shoot her shot. This sister was reaching out to me on Instagram to let me know that 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 the message that I was putting out was not only hindering her marriage, but it was also hindering, you know, society. She pretty much said that the message that I'm putting out about men and women is hindering society, right? And brother, she said this in a thousand words or more, bro. It was a long text, man. And my response, being being the asshole that I can be, after reading all that, all I said was, okay. Like, cool. If that's how you feel, like, I, I can't change that, right? I mean, I've forgotten about this sister. She didn't follow me on the gram, you know? But I wake up this morning, man, in this in this, this holy energy that exists at this time of day, man. And I look at my Instagram. And lo and behold, the same sister is in my DM this morning, man. But this time, brother, she didn't come with a long spiel about how I was a menace to society, right? She only had one question for your boy this morning. She said, so what does it mean to be his reflection? I'm gonna tell you this, brothers. When I first read that, it brought me joy. Because I said, I said, it seems like, and I could be wrong, I said, it seems like that woman has gone through some things with her husband, but but over the course of the last year and a half, close to two years, she's thought of a lot of stuff, a lot, a lot of things, and hopefully he's thought of a lot of things, and hopefully it's made them closer. For her to ask that question, brother, it, it, it brought joy to my heart, right? And I'm assuming she asked me that because she's heard me say that a, a number of times. I said that a woman must be a man's reflection right so what does it mean soul for a woman to be his reflection i'm gonna tell you this brothers i'm gonna tell you this when you look at the majority of relationships that take place right now you know whether it's marriages whether it's long-term commitments whatever you know whatever label you want to put on it when you look at people that are going the long way i can easily say that 80 percent Probably even 90% of people shouldn't be married. They shouldn't be married, brother. I'm, t I'm telling you, most people have no idea what marriage is. Most people have no idea, you know, you know the, the, the infrastructure, how it's supposed to be set up, brothers. Most people shouldn't be married. Because this is how it typically, typically goes, man. One night, you, you might step out with the homeboys. You might hit the club. You know what I'm saying? You might hit, you might hit uh 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 Coco Pellis for those in the 318. You may hit uh the wild thing throwback for those in the 903. And you out one night with the boys, you in a club, right? 
And you look over at the bar, man. And you see this fine sister. She's at the bar getting a drink or whatever she's doing. She got this nice, you know, pink dress on, black dress on. She got her nails did. She got her hair down her back, fresh braids or, or whatever. Lipstick popping. Eyelashes, the whole shebang. You know how women do it. Popping. And she looking good. And you tell the brothers, you say, you know what, you know, you know, partner, I'm going to step over here, man, and, 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 and shoot my shot right quick, right? And you go over there and you talking to her, man, and she's smiling and she got good vibes and she's feminine and she's cute. Bye, 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 bye. You know, the ass is on 10. And you say, you know what, man? Oh, you know, you say, you know what? I, I might can entertain this woman, you, you know, you know, be, you know, beyond this. Right? So you say, you know what? Let's, uh. Let's connect soon. Let's let's grab some coffee. Let's grab a meal one day this week. She says, cool, that sounds good. Like, you know, she's like, you're a handsome guy, right? So y'all go out to lunch. Y'all go hit, I don't know, y'all go hit uh, uh, Shell Shack. Y'all go hit Vegan Vibrations here in Dallas, right? And she see you pull up in a new whip. You know, whether it's a new, whether it's a new Chevy, whether it's a new... Uh, 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 Rari, whether it's a Lambo, whether it's a whatever, who cares, right? And she's like, oh, this brother got his stuff together, you know? And your conversation is right, man. She see how you move and you dress clean. You know, you invite her over, man, and, and she sees how you're living. She see the crib. She see the apartment. She see the, and she says, you know what? I believe this man, although he's, a, you know, he's attractive, even, you know, you know, beyond his attractiveness, I believe he can be a good provider. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 in, and in time, over the course of several months, maybe a couple of years, these people get married based on those two things. She's attractive. She's sweet. She's feminine. He's attractive. He, he's masculine. He, he's a provider. And they get married, brother. They come together as one. Even that couple shouldn't be married, brothers. Should necessarily be married because th th that's the recipe that that's that's the mindset everybody everybody you know has as far as going the long way in relationship brothers. But I'm telling you, it goes far beyond that. So when I when I say a woman should be a man's reflection, brother, like like that right there is not even skimming the surface of what I'm talking about. See, I always talk about the 95 percent and the 5 percent woman. This is the thing, man. When, when I'm talking about when I'm talking about the five percent woman, the being a five percent woman is really just the entry level to getting a man's life. Being a five percent woman is not the end goal. A five percent woman is is not a woman that that that's really a wife. But that five percent woman can get through the door. But that five percent woman, once she gets with the man, now she has to become a one percent woman. Now she has to become custom for that man. They have to become custom for uh, for each other. You know what I'm saying? So, so when I'm talking about a, a, a woman must be a man's reflection, sisters, I'm talking about something completely different. And I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. A, a lot of sisters, a lot of sisters want to know this. They, they want to know how to truly be a man's reflection. But the thing is that they're, they're trying to, they're trying to be this, at the same time, you know, you know, still live in their old energy, still live in their old life. I'll say it like this, man. I'll say it like this. To, to become a man's reflection, it's simply a woman's a woman has to become one with a man. Like a woman has to become one with the man. And, and, and this is backed up in your Bible. This is backed up in your Quran. I'm not going to read the verses now. You, you can go find them. We've all heard them. We've all heard, the, you know, the, the terms in the Bible or whatever, talking about two coming together and being one, how they should leave all this, this past energy, family, mother, father, and become one. To be a man's reflection means you're becoming one. It means you're, this is the thing. And this is the thing, this, this is the thing I don't think a lot of, a lot of women understand about marriage, man. Like a lot of women are in love with the fairy tale of big dresses and flowers and church bells and people attending and rice throwing and Instagram photos and vacation trips or, or, or weddings on the beach. 
a lot of women are are in love with that, but they have absolutely no idea what it means to be married to a man. You know what I'm saying? Think, think about this. E- even even symbolically, when a woman removes her last name and now takes on that last that man's last name, it's saying that the version that I used to be no longer exists. Now I am an extension of you. I am an extension of who you are. I'm an extension of how you move. I'm an extension of where you're going. Don't I always say that? I say a man must know who he is and where he's going. If that's the case, brother, you, you shouldn't even be in a long-term commitment. And I'm saying that to myself first. Before I knew who I was and where I was going, every relationship that I got in ended up in turmoil. It had to. It had to because that's what a woman is supposed to be attaching to. She's supposed to be attaching to, to, to your identity and your mission. And if she's not doing that, brothers, if she's not doing that, th- th- then she's really, she's really doing her own thing. I'm going to say it again a different way. I'm going to say it again a different way. If you, if you brothers are married, and y'all know when I say the word married, I don't mean necessarily legal paperwork judges. I mean coming together and bonding y'all are one. If y'all are married and you as a man have your direction, you know your identity, right? And that woman isn't, isn't on that page, but it, it can't work. It can't work because what a woman has to understand, man, is when she says, you know what? When a man asks her to marry, when a man when a, when a, when a man asks a woman to marry her, what he's saying is, "Are you on my agenda?" That's what submission means. Submission doesn't mean, "Okay, now I'm above you. I'm looking down on you, and you report to me." Da, da, da. It don't mean that. For a woman to submit to a man, to a man means means I'm on your mission. Like if I'm going to leave my my old life, my last name, and come on your mission, that means that any way you move, I trust you enough that any way you move. I'm on board with that. I'm on board with that. And if she's not with that, brother, that, that, mean, that means she's pulling in a different direction. Again, 80% of relationships, 90% of relationships operate like this. Think about this, man. Women that, women that watch these shows, this Atlanta Housewives, and, and, and every other show that's branched off of that, Love and Hip Hop, you name them, I'm going to tell you why women love these shows so much. I'm going to tell you, brothers. I'm going to give you the one-on-one. I'm going to tell you, sisters, why you love this show so much. Because what, what women are trying to figure out is, how can I love this man? How can I, how can I uh, uh, be married to this man? How can I be a wife to this man, but still keep my own identity? How can I do this and still be a boss chick? How can I do this and still be you know, uh, 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 held up on high amongst my sisters. You can't. It, it's two different energies. Now, pause for a second, because this is what I'm not saying. I'm not saying that every single thought that a man has, a woman has to be have that same thought. No. Hell no. A woman must have her own identity, but it must match his. But what I'm saying is a, a man, a, a woman must have, she can have her own hobbies, her own passions, like her own movies. I'm not saying she has to be, be the man. But as far as his mission, where he's going, his movements. But she has to be on board. Or I'm telling you, your, slip is, your, your ship is slowly sinking. You have no idea that it's doing that. What do you mean, soul? Go deeper, soul. I'm going to tell you what I mean. When a man, if a man grows up Christian, if a man grows up Hindu, if a man grows up in Islam, and all of a sudden he goes to his wife and says, you know what? I think, I think, I think God is deeper than that. I think, I think God is outside of the box. You know what I'm saying? I, I think God is everywhere. I think God is love. I think, I think God is in, in everything. And he says, you know what? I'm no, no, I'm no longer going to the masjid on Fridays. I'm no longer going to the church on Sundays. I'm no longer uh, 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 participating in mass. If you're his wife, if you're his reflection, you're saying, you know what, baby? I'm an extension of you. And when I said that I was going to marry you, what I was saying is I trust every single thing you're saying. I'm a part of you now. So if that's what you believe, baby, I'm on board. You know, we can sit here and meditate. We can pray. We can read different books. I'm on board. 
And I know a lot of you women saying, girl, this. No, I ain't doing that. Again, you shouldn't be a wife. You shouldn't be a wife. Think about this. You're wanting a man to protect, uh, protect you, provide for you, and be all these things that women say a man should be, but you want to have your own backyard agenda going on? Contraire, sisters. It, it doesn't work. And I'm telling you, brothers, it, it, I'm telling you this, brothers, if you're in that situation and you're allowing that, again, your, sh your ship is slowly sinking, man. Your, your ship, when I say reflection, man, this is what I mean. Let's go back to that same scenario. You met this sister in the club. Y'all out, man. Y'all drinking. Y'all turning up. Y'all blowing big kill. Y'all doing whatever, right? Let's say one day you wake up and say, you know what, babe? You say, you know what, babe? I know that, uh, I know that we've been smoking and, 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 and we've been drinking since we met for a whole year, two years, five years, 10 years. But something in me is telling me to put that down for a minute. Something in, something in me is telling me to back up and, 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 and remove all these vices. Like I know we used to go to the club and, and, and kick it up every weekend, but something is telling me to sit down for a minute. Spirit is, spirit is telling me to sit down. I'm going to tell you this. For your woman to participate in those activities after that, she's strictly saying, okay, I'm something other than you. I'm something other than you. If you're sitting there and, and, and you smoking every weekend and all of, all of a sudden you stop and your woman walks in and she fires one up, it, it, there's no, there's no, okay, you know, uh, 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 hubby, I understand you on your mission. Let God, let God work with you. But I'm going to be over here blazing one. I'm going to be over here a uh, 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 drinking one. She's saying, I'm on a different mission than you now. I know it's hard for you. I, I know, I know. I know it's hard for a lot of you sisters to, to, to grasp that. But if you can't grasp that, you're not, you're not ready to be a wife. You're not ready to leave your old life and attach to a man. When a man is saying, you know what, you know what, babe, like, Spirit is talking to me. Spirit is telling me to go on a three-day fast, go on a seven-day fast. Your woman should be like, you know what? Then I'm going on a three-day fast. I'm going on a seven-day fast because I'm your reflection. Like, like I am a part of you now. Not, and, and not saying that it has to look exactly like his, but she's on that mission. Like, baby, you might not be eating no food, no water, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut that TV off. I'm going to, I'm going to eat, uh, 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 you know, maybe once. I'm going to do something. I'm fasting, too. Because you are a part of me. See, a lot of people, a lot of people don't understand the whole dynamic of relationships. I can tell that just by listening. Any woman, any woman that's stuck on this whole, oh, a girl, make sure you do this. So in case he leave, he can, you get the money, you get it. When I hear women talking like that, I say, you know what? I get what you're saying, sister. I understand the place you're coming from, but it's an ignorant place. When people talk about that, man, it's coming from a, it's coming from a lack of not even knowing the dynamic of a relationship. Is people not even knowing the true, the true check and balance of a relationship. People have no idea what makes a woman want to submit. People have no idea what makes a man want to protect and provide. Because they're watching it on TV. Instead of going with inside saying, you know what, let me understand this thing. Think about this, man. Think about what makes a man want to provide. When a man has a woman that's an extension of him. That's a, re a reflection of him. That the way he moves, the way she's moving too. But th this this man's life is amplified. Where two become one. It's not so. This this is this is in your Bible. This is spiritual. When he has a woman that moves like that, she's empowering him. When he's when he's putting energy out, when he's pouring energy into her, and she's pouring his exact same energy back into him. He's protect. What he's doing is he's protecting the supercharger. That's the check and balance. You want to keep your man from stepping out? Think about this. If a man, if a man, if a man understands what a woman is doing to him, he ain't going nowhere. Cause he understands if this woman is gone, that now my, my, my power is shifted. I'm still powerful, but my power, my power is shifted. On the same, on the same, on, on the same, on the opposite end of the spectrum, rather, 
a woman's check and balance is, you know what? Let me let me pour into this man. Let me move how he moves. Let me, let me power him. And as a result of that, I ain't got to have no job. I ain't got to worry about the stresses that all these other wannabe boss chicks have to have to do. I can just sit up and be in my feminine because he's providing, he's protecting that for me. You know what I'm saying? He's putting me in position by you know what I'm doing for him. Now he's in position to cover me. I don't have to move like other women move. I'm telling you, man, the, the dynamic is jacked up. The dynamic is jacked up. And I'm telling you, if you watch a lot of these shows or, or brothers, if you if you listening to some of this music that's telling you it should be a certain way, it's all jacked up. But but to answer your, your question, sister, and I didn't reply to her because I'm just going to send her a link to this video. For, for a woman to be a man's reflection, what that means is she's simply an extension of him. She She's simply an extension of him now. They, like they literally become one. When a man says, will you marry me? He's saying, you know what? I want you to become, I want you to become one with me. But think about that, brothers. Think about this. If you're asking a woman to become one with you, at the same time, man, you, you have to understand Think about this, man. You're asking you, if you're asking a woman to marry you. If you're asking a woman to be in your life, think about what you're saying. You're saying, you know what? I see a lot of qualities in you. I see a lot of traits in you that 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 match with mine. Even the ones that don't match with mine, that 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 you know the 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 you know the uh, the skills or attributes or knowledge that you have could benefit me. So I want you to be. I want you to be one. You know, my source. I want you to be an extension of me. I want us to become one. Having that knowledge, brothers, be cautious of, of the woman, the woman or women you, you invite into that space. Because the attribute she, she has, the fear she has, the faith she has, brother, she, she's bringing that with her. She's bringing that with her, man. So again, going back to the club scenario, right? Yeah, she might have, she might have, you know, a dunk on 10. She might, she might have the eyelashes that's hitting the roof. You know what I'm saying? Brothers, we have to start looking deeper than that. We have to say, you know what? Is this woman going to, to benefit me spiritually? Is she's going to, who am I? Where am I going? Is she, is she going to boost me to that place? Is she is she going to be able to, 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 to reside in that frequency of the place I'm going? I'm telling you, brothers, we have to start asking ourselves a whole nother series of questions. Sisters, y'all do too. Yeah, he might be 6'12". He might have a six pack. He might make 500,000. He might live in Calabasas. But can I, can I remove my identity and attach to this man and trust everything he's doing? Like all the moves he's going to make in the future. Am I willing to roll the dice on this man and say, you know what? Let me bond with you. Let me, let me become one with you. Let me connect with you. I trust you. I don't care if you say we're going to move to the Himalayas and, and live in a cave for a year. The man I see that you are, I trust you. Sisters, if you can't see that, you don't need to be, you don't need to be uh, uh, marrying a man because that's what marriage is. That's what being a man's reflection is.